Well, your signature is going to be in big demand outside area supermarkets in the coming months by backers of the 34 different ballot questions certified to move ahead today by Attorney General Andrea Campbell. Now, not all of them are a lock to make it on the ballot in November of next year, but some are. And WBZ political analyst John Keller has an early look at some of the likely candidates. All of a sudden, a sleepy 2024 election likely to lack formidable challengers to Senator Elizabeth Warren and other Democrats starts to look a bit more momentous. I think this is a campaign about drivers and what they actually want. Brace yourself for an avalanche of ads in the battle over how rideshare drivers should be classified. Organized labor says if Uber and Lyft win, it will threaten benefits and job security for all sorts of other workers. But the rideshare companies say the drivers want the freelance status they're offering. Can you be pro-union and still vote yes for this? Absolutely. I think you can. This is to, to us is not a union issue. Or this question does not deal with unionization. Union clout may also be tested by the teacher union push to scrap passing the MCAS test as a requirement to graduate high school. Many education reformers say the high stakes MCAS is the only way to hold schools accountable for their failures. But the union has money, grassroots clout, and polls showing MCAS is unpopular. This is about the people of the Commonwealth getting access to what is going on behind those closed doors. And while the state legislature isn't quite as unpopular as it used to be, state auditor Diana DeSaglio's bid for authority to audit their books seems sure to appeal to voters who want to curb Beacon Hill's power in this era of one-party rule. If you are fed up, if you are tired of the shenanigans up on Beacon Hill and the lack of transparency regarding what's happening with your tax dollars, Please contact me to get involved. <laughs> and Paul, another major question given the green light today by the Attorney General, a move to allow cities and towns to reinstate rent control. That was, of course, banned by the uh -huh. voters statewide in, back in 1994. So still a lot of work to do. All these questions, yeah. they have to gather 75,000 signatures by November. Uh, but four that you've mentioned here would bring about some major change. Yeah, and they all represent issues where advocates couldn't get what they wanted from the legislature. Right. So they're going directly to the people. You know, we've been living through an era where the status quo is king on Beacon Hill. You one party rule, uh, incumbents rarely threatened. The fate of some of these questions could be a sign of more of the same ahead mm -hmm. or a desire am amid the electorate for change. That's what's going to make it interesting. Campaign 2024 is going to be something. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> it really is. Bring in many it on. Ways. John Keller, thanks so much. Chris?